So hello everyone, today I thought I'd make an update about my uh, 3D rendering, rendering desktop app that I uploaded a very short demo video about and the reason I wanted to make uh, a, an update about it is because the video gained uh, so many traction and so many people have seen the project and I don't like how uh, my approach to the uh, to the code let me say because it has so many flows it uh, it wasn't an object oriented approach which is something I didn't like a lot so uh, basically this is the uh, the new the new version and it doesn't it doesn't seem so much different uh, from the the other one but here's where it gets interesting so let me so as you can see, first thing I added the a filling or no filling uh, option. I added the option to change the background color also and to toggling all kinds of colors, the filling, the, the lines, the zooming. Also the rotation now isn't continuous. Let me show you the other version so here is the older version as you can see there are no controls at the bottom and I'm gonna so this is the same object and the main difference so the other one is a little bit uh, faster and it and I'll talk about why that's the case otherwise this is the main difference so as you can see here uh, when I change the rotation, it keeps on rotating in that axis and I change that to be more of a, of a static rotation. So, let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, the zoom, the zoom orientation also has changed, but like this is the fixed rotation. Anyway, so I'm gonna talk about the first main change, which is the use of classes. Yes, now the, uh, it's an object-oriented approach. Also, this is the GUI class, which inherits from the uh, tkinter uh, object. And this is the main class. So I'm gonna just walk you uh, through the code uh, a little bit, so that you can uh, navigate it. Then I'm gonna talk about the changes, the all of the changes that are made to the code compared to the last version. So first we have our main uh, our main class and the init uh, function. We first create a GUI object with the initialized GUI. Then we update the, the display. So what we do uh, when we update the display? First we draw and I'll talk about this draw function in the GUI uh, file then recursively call the update display function each one millisecond and that's it and this main loop needs to exist for the tkinter to work then we have the GUI class these are some controls like background color the canvas uh, if you want to change like the canvas uh, dimensions fixed dimensions you need to change these anyway so we create our instance from the geometry handler, a handler which we created, I created myself, so it's in this file and we'll talk about it in a second. Then we initialize the window, we just create the first window, like the first graphical window. Then we create all the widgets here. So first we create the canvas, we just create a simple canvas. Like this is basic tkinter syntax, just the way I changed it, like here we create the canvas, then we create the zoom slider. This is just a separator for uh, visual purposes. Then the X, Y, Z the rotation sliders, the reset button, uh, the reset rotation button, uh, button creation, the import file, the screenshot. Anyway, these are just functions to create the elements of the GUI, and they are all separated like this to be. For you to, if you want to uh, edit anything in the code, uh, it would be easier for you to find it. This is for taking the screenshot. 
same old function literally the same i changed nothing about it for reading the file literally the same i changed nothing about it before i draw i get the rotations the new rotations from the sliders i get the zoom value again i update the values in the geometry handler so these are all kept in here and then i see i delete yeah so here's where uh, the uh, the flags are intervene so if something changed and if the file exists of course i gotta check like in here if i read the file i got a file i said this uh, file exists flag as true so if the file exists and something changed we delete everything that we've already drawn we set the, the new colors and we draw the object and that's it for this file this is the GUI file it seems like a lot but it's very simple you just gotta know a little bit of tkinter and python programming and you're good to go the geometry class needs needs to be uh, initialized with the canvas width and height and it will be stored in local var variables here to the object, local to the object. Here we store the data that we read. And this, these are the initial values for the uh, fill, which is no fill. The uh, point color, which is black. And the line co color, which is blue. Here is the function to change the fill color, which, which would be called by the GUI in here. Uh, change the line color, update position, we just add x and y to it as needed. And here we draw the object. So another thing I, uh, I added to here. Uh, so in the draw object, what we do, we first calculate the rotation matrix matrices and uh, rotation matrices and projection matrices are something very fun to learn. I recommend you read about it. I'm, I'm not going to explain them myself. We're transforming the points and we're getting our projected points and then we draw the face. After I draw all the points in, in a face, I draw the face using the create polygon function from tkinter and here's the linear, linear algebra part. These are two, two functions for the linear algebra and that's it. This all works with any .obg file so Nothing changed there. Yeah. Like, I find it so cool. Like, this is all done doing some math and a couple lines of Python coding for everything that I, that I changed. So, it's an object oriented approach. Now, the 3D model is redrawn or re rendered. Only when there's a change, that's the uh, change flag that I talked about. So this saves a lot in computation power. Uh, also, the faces are now being drawn completely. Like, uh, as I said, I used to only draw three points of the um, of the face, which made it uh, wh whenever you need to fill uh, a face, some faces weren't complete, so it couldn't even fill them. Also, the points that aren't on the screen are no longer rendered. We've already talked about that. The rotation isn't continuous. We've already talked about that. New controls for line color, line filling, and line and canvas color, so you can produce pretty uh, visuals. And the filling could be turned on and off as you as you see, as you saw already. So these are the new changes. I hope uh, this was fun and useful to you somehow. Uh, again, this is just me exploring graphics. I didn't do this like to make. Uh, the best uh, 3D 3D visual, uh, model visualizer. I just wanted to do this for to learn about graphics and have fun with Python and all that good stuff. So no, I won't do be doing it with OpenGL. No, I won't be creating. I guess this is it for this project for me. And I hope that, that you learned something from this. Yeah. Thank you all for watching and see you. Well, I have some plans from some videos, but I can't find the time to, to film them. So see you when I see you. Goodbye.